air pants for the water brook, so my soul panted after the O Lord. My brothers and sisters, good morning. Welcome again to the Spalding New Testament Church of God. It is the first Sunday of April, and we are happy to be coming to you live, amen, from this cathedral, from this location, with another life-changing impact in service. Brothers and sisters, today is Pastors and Officers Sunday, and it is a great service that is lined up for you. I know there are several persons who are already joining us. You're waiting for to be inspired, impacted, and transformed through and by the word or experience that you'll have here today. It is always a pleasure to have you on board with whether it is in the face-to-face -face setting or virtually, we are happy to have you. Those who are on their way to church, amen. Hurry and get here. The presence of the Lord is already here. And we are just waiting to bask in the power and, uh, of the anointing. My brother and sisters, Kadian joins me this morning. And I pause to celebrate with her the goodness of Almighty God and in the same breath to say to her condolences on the passing of her mother and we are praying for you and the family, all the others who are grieving, all the others who have sick ones and other, and other situations, we are praying for you and we are lifting you up to Almighty God. There are some persons who have joined us already, Charlene Bailey, Wendy Daly, yes, Kavin Lawrence, Karin Stone. These persons are all online. Peaches Williams, Jean Lane, Sophia Thompson-Brown, Sharon Sway, uh, I, Paul, Stephanie Wilson. Many have joined and our regular uh, partners and online members. I know you're coming on shortly. As soon as you come on, continue to worship, continue to support the programs of this church. Throughout this week, the programs are all lined up. Tuesday, Deliverance Fasting, Wednesday, Bible Studies, and we go through the rest of the week on Friday. We have our Solomon Group cookout, and today, Cat and Thai Day, put on by the Solomon Rally Group. Today, several babies to be dedicated, families coming in from near and far, and we know that today promises to be good. A powerful word is also lined up for you. Wait on your Isaac. My God, you can't wait to, I just can't wait to share that word, and I know you're awaiting that word. God bless you. God keep you, Kadian. God bless you. Have a fun, spirit filled day. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That was Kadian, and the family joins me, and the Spaulings New Testament. Church of God family joins me, saying, Welcome, welcome. Enjoy his worship. And may the the Lord be with you until we meet like this again. God bless you. Until then, let's go into service. Ready in progress. God bless you. Bye bye.
cleared. You just ask God, Savior, do not pass me by. What an awesome God. We say, God, one step, one step right as a Jesus. Nobody pass me. I need you. I need you. And we have a God that is worthy to receive glory, honor, and praise. So in your own little space, I invite you to sing this song with us. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Do you believe these words this morning?
Tell him one more time. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Oh Lord. Is he worthy to receive your glory and your praise this morning? Jesus and for his pleasure all of these are created for his glory so we have the opportunity to worship the Lord with our bodies in this morning the song is very simple it says oh be lifted above everything this morning above with degrees with masters with profession with pretty care with pretty homes be lifted this morning so I invite you to lift the name of Jesus. I invite you to stand. The Lord has given us mobility. Let us worship the Lord. The fact that we can stand this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, be lifted. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Take the glory, God. It belongs to you, Jesus. Amen. Oh. Above all other gods, we lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted above. 
before God this morning. We put them down this morning. And we know that we are nothing before God. A matter of fact, our righteousness is like filthy rats. Who are we to come before this glorious God? So I lay my crown and I worship. I lay my crown. I worship one last time to say that I lay my crown and I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, blessed God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And because we just lay down with crown. 
and we just crown glorious God. And we say, God, we praise your name. We are going to say, God, take it hallelujah. It is not ours, God. The glory isn't ours. So this morning we are raising a hallelujah to you this morning. Mm. Hand together for Jesus.
church of God, we got the words to ring out this morning. Take and believe it. I'm going to sing. Yes. I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, you're going to hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the king. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praise is roar. I'm from the ash, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the king is alive. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing in the middle. Hallelujah. 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 The highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The King is alive. Hallelujah. I will enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Is there a hallelujah in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. Give him a round of applause. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The king is alive. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. And give the Lord a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that the loudest you can go? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a round of applause. Glory to the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. There's no chain that he can break. It doesn't matter how long you are bound. Hallelujah. He break every chain. Hallelujah. And set the captives free. Hallelujah. Are you tied up this morning? Hallelujah. Do you have a situation this morning? The king of kings is in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I give God praise and worship this morning. Hallelujah. Brother Cross, hallelujah is the name, and I'm, I'll be your moderator for today. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I want to greet my bishop and family officers, uh, Reverend Williams, other officers, brothers and sisters in the name of of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The one that reigns forever and ever. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed this morning to be alive. 
and well. How about you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This time I'm going to be asking us to stand and I'm going to be inviting Reverend Williams to open us in prayer. Let us stand. If you're not sick, please stand for prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's agree in prayer. All the way, my Savior, lead me. What have I to ask beside? All through hurt have been my guide. I know what here will befall me. That Jesus do it. All things well. Kind, loving God. Our Father. Our King. Our Shepherd. Our Hall in all. Jesus Christ, our bridge over troubled water. This morning, Lord, we come before you. Another Sunday morning in the celebration of worship. To lift up and to adore, O oh God Almighty, your matchless name. And so today, Lord God, we ask that your divine presence will tabernacle with us today in a special way. Father, we lift up this service to you today, God, that you will move in our midst as never before. O oh God Almighty, last week, O oh God, we experienced a mighty move of the Holy Ghost. And so, Lord, we are here today expecting another move, O oh God, from the heavenly realms. I pray, Almighty God, that somebody today will be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And even now, Almighty God, I pray that our hearts will be in preparation, Lord, as we anticipate, Lord, a moving of your holy presence among us today. Lord God Almighty, I lift up those who are sick today in your midst. Lord God Almighty, those who are grieving, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you will bow down your ears today, Lord, and listen to their cry, listen to their prayers. Lord God Almighty, I lift up Sister Epburn before you even now and the extended family. Oh God, I pray for strength in this time. Oh God Almighty, it takes faith, Lord, to push everything else aside and to come into your presence, Lord, to praise you. Lord, we know it's not easy, but we pray, Lord God, for your comforting spirit, Lord, to rest upon her and her family in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, the heart is broken. Oh God, she may be feeling wounded inside, but I pray pray today, divine God, for your divine strength in such a challenging time. Oh God, let your presence be felt in her midst. Move with her, God, as she journeyed through this period. I pray, almighty God, that you will hold her hands. Oh God, in the crossing of every Jordan, at the encounter of every Jericho wall. Oh God, you will give strength. And so today, almighty God, those who are discouraged in service today, I pray that the joy of the Lord will be our strength. And so we lift you up this morning. We glorify your awesome and powerful name. Lord, we put the service into your hand, Lord God. We put the moderator in your hand, Lord, and everybody else, Lord, that is on paper to do something in today's worship. Oh God, if it seems, please, pleasing to you, God. We pray that you will shuffle the program. Do your own thing in the service today. We pray that you will run the service, Lord, according to your Holy Spirit. Move among us, we pray, Lord. Touch the choir in the name of Jesus. Touch the musician, Lord, the tech team, oh God, the congregation, just about every one of us today that is in your house. I pray that we will hear a sound of a mighty rushing wind today, God. I pray that you will sit upon each and every one of us today, Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost be evident in our midst. Oh, God, that when the fire fall, we cannot 
sit still, but we will lift up our hands in worship in this atmosphere and we will declare, have your own way, Lord. Have your own way. Move among us this morning. Oh God, every demonic powers from darkness, we silence them today by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, whatever spirit has journeyed with your people to service today, we take a stand by the power of the Holy Ghost and we declare freedom in the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every fetter. I pray, Lord God, that in this service, Lord, captives will be set free today. Burdens will be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Lives will be transformed. Oh God, there will be a change. Oh God, even those worshiping online, that they will feel a touch from your mighty hand. That today, God, even though we are feeling wounded and broken, but we will lift up our wings and we will soar to new heights. Oh God, for in the value, oh God, you promise to restore our strength. Move in this house today, God. Every clouds of heaviness, we rebuke them today in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray that your holy presence will fill this place, Lord. Let it be evident, Lord, in every life today, God, that you are moving in our midst. You are moving in our lives. Oh, God Almighty, today we have no other source to turn to, to you. Oh, God, so we turn to you. We look unto the hills from whence cometh our help. For our help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. Lord God, you said you will not suffer our feet to be moved. Oh God Almighty, but he that cheapeth Israel will not slumber and sleep. Oh God Almighty, today we raise an hallelujah today because death is defeated and the king is alive. Today we shout today that our hallelujah. king is alive. Our king is alive and well in our midst today, God. Hallelujah. So no powers of darkness will silence our hallelujah in spite of what we are going through today we lose ourselves and we raise a hallelujah we lift up an hallelujah today a transforming hallelujah that we lose some people out of their bondage and lead them into their freedom we lift up your people in Zion today we echo our voices today Lord God Almighty because there is a shout of praise in the tabernacle of the righteous Today, God, we declare that we are not defeated. We are triumphant. We are well. We declare today, God, that it is well with our soul. In spite of what the enemy is saying today, we declare, Lord God, that we believe your report. That it is well with our sickness, with our feelings, with our families, with our infirmities. Today, Almighty God, let your healing virtue pass through spallings another time. Oh God, we are expecting a sound of a mighty rushing wind. Oh God, we declare under this anointing that there is a sound of abundance of rain. I declare, Almighty God, that the dry season in our life will experience rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain in service today. Rain upon your people. Move through today as never before. Bind up the brokenhearted. Heal the wounded spirit. And we declare, Almighty God, that we are free. We are your power that this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it I don't care how I am feeling I declare that I will rejoice and be glad in it I will be glad he had made me glad he had made me glad I will rejoice for he had made me glad oh God today Today. Fill our cups, Lord. Bread of heaven. Feed us till we want no more. Feed us.
us today, Lord, with the bread from above. And we declare today that when we stand in the name of Jesus, we shall have the victory. When we stand in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. Today we chase them out of town. We say, flee demons, flee demons, flee demons, flee from this place and give us the victory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the word that will be coming from your servant. Right now, God, in the spirit realms, we defeat every plunge of the enemy and we declare, Lord, a fresh anointing a fresh anointing, a fresh anointing. We declare it's a new season, it's a new day. A fresh anointing will be coming our way. A season of power and prosperity. Release it today upon your people. Release it today, Lord. We're careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. And we said, have your way in today's service. We look to you and we tell you thanks. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Hallelujah. 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 The will of God for service today. The will of God for service today must come true. The will of God for service today at Spalding's must come true. Hallelujah. Come on, God's people, you don't know how to fight. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Woo. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel a joy. I feel the joy deep within. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand for the reading of the word. I invite Officer A. and Mika this time with the word to read the word. Hallelujah. Scripture reading, Officer A. and Mika. And as soon as he's through, we invite somebody, a representative from the PR team with the announcements and welcome. Stand for the reading. Praise God. Good morning, church. Our scripture reading comes to us from the book of Genesis, chapter number 18, from verse 1 to verse 14. I'll read and you can follow in your Bibles. And the, and the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if I know I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. I will fetch a morsel of bread and, and, sorry, and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, so do as, as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready now three measures of, of, of meal. Knead it and make it cakes upon the herd. And Abram ran into the, into the herd and fetched a calf tender and good. And gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed, and he set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah? thy wife. And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of, of life. And lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were all and well strung in age. 
and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying, after I am wax old, shall I have pleasure? My, 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 Lord, my Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I of a surety bear a child in my, when, sorry, which I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Shara shall have a son. This is the word of the Lord. We say, thanks be to God. Praise God. We invite the PR representative at this time. Is there anything too hard for God? <laughs> Is there anything too hard for our God? What is it that you're wondering about? What is it that is on your mind? Is there anything too hard for God? The PR team. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, it's so great to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Let us just raise our hands and give the Lord a wave offering, acknowledging that the Lord, the Holy Spirit, is already in our presence. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Give the Lord a glory. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Let me just acknowledge the presence of our bishop and family, deacons, officers, choir members, praise team, musician, members, good morning. Good morning. Now the task is mine to welcome a whole host of persons here this morning. And the list is so long. Oh my God, I feel honored. Bishop, it's full and running over. It is running over this morning. So this is what you're going to do for me. You're going to listen for your names, but you're not, not going to get up as yet. So I'm going to call the names. And when I'm done, then I'm going to ask you to stand. And in the true, spalling, New Testament spirit, we're going to give them a round of applause. Sounding good? Great. So I have visiting... With us, we have Mrs. Chevenise Thomas Morris. You can just give us a wave, you know, just a wave. Good. Mr. Lamar Morris, Mrs. Joan Durant Broomfield, and Miss Gina Crawford, and they're visiting from Canada. We have Mrs. Annette Saunders from Spalling, Miss Pat Campbell from Christiana, Mr. Jermaine Spitt from Christiana, Mr. Kemoy Fort from Portmore. Miss Julie Richards from Mandeville, Mr. Omar Miller, Counselor for Craighead Division, wave offering, thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Campbell, Mrs. Inez Campbell, Mr. Parham from Christiana, Mrs. Monica Lynch from Bryce United, Mr. Marlon Parham, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, from Canada. We have Mr. Chadwick Rowe, Mr. Crisson Gibson, Mr. Ryan Chin, Miss Crystal McKenzie, Miss Michelle Jones, Miss Shirnet or Shirlet, um, um, forgive me, I can't say the last name. <laughs> say, say that to me. Shanna, beautiful. <laughs> Miss Christine Johnson, Kadeen Kerry Johnson, K. Miss Carrie Gray, Miss Rhonda, Miss Cody, Miss Jason. I can't see. <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> Mr. Lavon Scott, <laughs> Mr. Lamario Scott, Miss K, Miss Nordia from Connecticut. 
um, Miss Carveen from Ontario, Miss Gabriella from Ontario, Miss Alcina from Ontario. We have Chantal Talvertu, Angela Parham, Naomi Hanson, Marlon Dagula. Hope that's correct. Chelsea Wilson, Marlon Prince, Trisanya Barres, Anthony Lang, Garisha Lindsay. <sighs> Could you all please stand? And if I haven't called your name and you're visiting for the first time, just stand. Please give them a round of applause. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we have some welcome gifts coming around for you. It's great to have you here. So we are just showing with a little token of appreciation. And I'm going to sing a little song for you and everybody going to join in. Smile, everybody smile. Everybody smile, everybody smile. Smile, everybody smile. Everybody smile, everybody smile. Thank you so much. All right, at this time, let us listen keenly to the announcements, which will be in your hearing. Please listen to the following announcements. Today is Hat and Tie Day. Please leave your contribution of $200 in the box provided before you leave service. On Sunday, April 14th, at 11.15 a.m., the Women's Ministry Fundraising event will be held in the form of a march. All women are asked to participate for a worthy cause. Our annual harvest and thanksgiving service will be Sunday, April 28th at 11.30 a.m. The Noah and Solomon group should begin planning regarding this exciting and noteworthy event. National Youth Congress was Friday and Saturday, April 5th and 6th. Our teens and children went and represented us well. The Midas touch continues. Our very own bishop will give more information on this shortly. Amazing work performing an arts ministry. May God continue to favor and inspire you. Remember our sick and shut-ins by giving them a call or a visit. Special thanks to those persons who supported our very own Sister Alice Gale and family who laid to rest her granddaughter yesterday. Welcome to the dawn of something unique at Spalding New Testament Church. The inaugural Young Ladies Ministry Meeting graces us this Thursday, April 11th at 7 p.m. A special surprise awaits the initial 20 ladies, a free gift to commemorate this momentous occasion. Embrace the journey with poise, embodying the mantra, a girl with a mind, a woman with attitude, a lady with class, and a female who loves Jesus Christ. Looking forward to your esteemed presence. All right, great. Just would like to add some more announcements to what you have just heard. heard. We have Popsicle and Drop selling um, after church, it's for $150, so nobody should be leaving here without a popsicle and drops in their hand. And if, if you don't like it, you buy it and give it away. All right? Great. We're also going to be having, the Solomon Group will also be having uh, their cookout um, this Friday. And so we are asking that nobody cooks dinner. So all roads lead to church because we have something for everybody. We have jerk chicken, fried chicken, stew pork, fish, brown stew fish, roast fish, any 
anything you want with side up, pasta, sweet potato, tuss, salad. Listen to me, man. No cooking happening this Friday because we are going to come all if you just want a little soup, soup will be there as well. It starts as early as 11 a.m. So if you feel like you want to eat your dinner at 11 a.m. or you have breakfast at 11 a.m. and you buy a next set for 6 o'clock later on, even if you want three meal, lot breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can have it this Friday, yes? And it is the Solomon Group. So big up, Solomon. Solomon. All right. All right. Great. All right. And so we want to just say a happy birthday to Sister Tisha. Where's Sister Tisha? Happy birthday, Sister Tisha. Great. And I'm sure the tech support will also show the other persons who are celebrating their birthday last week and coming this week. And so we continue to keep Sister Hepburn's family in our prayers as they grieve a loved one. Now, if you have nothing to do, there's always something to do at church. So you can never be idle and say we have nothing to do. Monday, marriage and singles ministry. If you're married, let me hear you say hallelujah. If you're single, let me hear you say hallelujah. See, there is something for everybody, whether you're married or not. And we have an FTH. So this first Monday, they're going to be having a presentation on cervical cancer. And FTH is also going to be held this Monday as well. Tuesday, you have fasting. Wednesday, we have Bible study. Thursday, if you can't sing and want to learn how to sing, come Thursday, we have choir. Friday, we have youth fellowship. Saturday, you tune in to the live broadcast. That is it. Live broadcast on Saturday morning. Yes? And on Sunday, we are back here for Sunday school and divine worship. Plus, if you feel like you still don't want to come out, tune in at 5 a.m. in the morning for prayer meeting. The Zoom link is provided in the Bible-based group. Have a fabulous Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pay keen attention to those announcements. Hallelujah. Good morning to everyone. Praise God. It is so good to see you all in church and you're looking so beautiful. If you could come up here and look at yourself, you would be amazed to see how you look. Praise the Lord. The beauty of the Lord is just shining on us as God's people. Lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm inviting us all to stand as we do the declaration of faith. And this is what the New Testament Church of God declares. That's what we believe in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can follow. It will be projected. Declaration of faith is also in your gift bag. So those of you who have received a bag this morning, you can pick out that paper or that note and read from it if you wish. Praise the Lord. Let's do it together. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible, in one God eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, and born of the Virgin Mary, that Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead, that he ascended to heaven, and is today at the right hand of the Father, as the intercessor, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and repentance is commanded of God for all and necessary for the forgiveness of sins, that justification, regeneration, 
and the new birth were wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. In sanctification, subsequent to the new birth, through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word, and by the Holy Ghost. Holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. In the baptism with the Holy Ghost, subsequent to a clean heart. In speaking with other tongues, as a spirit gives utterance, and that it is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion, and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement. In the Lord's Supper and washing of the saints' feet. In the premillennium second coming of Jesus, first to resurrect the righteous dead, and to catch away the living saints to him in the air. Second, to reign on the earth a thousand years. In the bodily resurrection, eternal life for the righteous and eternal punishment for the wicked. Thank you. I spent a lot of my life chasing after this world. I didn't realize it'll never fill my soul. Then Jesus found me and rescued me, saved my soul, and he sent me He sent for me to tell you he's coming. To be rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Rooted and grounded by the Holy Ghost. And if you want to go to heaven, let's go be rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord.
your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Give the Lord a praise, everybody. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a worship, everybody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I salute the blessed Holy Spirit, head of my life, head of the church, our counselor, our comforter, our revealer, amen, our anointer. I recognize the Holy Spirit in our midst. Permit me also to recognize the council men and women. Amen. Reverend Williams, the deacons. Amen. Our moderator, officer in charge, praise team, musicians, choir, technical team, visitors, ushers, children, one and all those who are online, listening, watching from right across the world. Amen. I greet you well in Jesus' name. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Spalding New Testament Cathedral, the place where everybody is a somebody and the ground is leveled at the foot of the cross. The church where we seek to impact the community. Amen, somebody. We disciple others. We care about one and all. Amen. And we seek to win those for Christ who have not yet known Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. To all the visitors who stood earlier, you are recognized and you stood. I recognize and I greet you on the behalf of Kadian and the family and the church here. I greet you and I say welcome to Spalding Church and I pray that you stay with us today. You'll be quite memorable. You'll be inspired, amen, edified and transformed through the word and your experience here today that you'll even say to yourselves and to others, let's go back to church the next time. Somebody put your hands together. For God, everybody. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, seeing that the announcements are fresh, let me just endorse them, add a few, and then we're just going to the babies dedicate the dedication of babies. Today we have seven, is it seven babies to be dedicated? Seven babies to be dedicated. The church that continues to dedicate babies, yes, is a fertile church. The church where marriages take place is a fertile church. The church where baptisms take place and people are filled with the Holy Spirit, lives are impacted in various ways, amen, is a fertile church. If you have a church and a pure funeral, my God, look what's going to happen. It's a dying church. Somebody praise God. But the Spalding New Testament church is a growing church. It's an impacting church. Amen. We are destined for greatness. Put your hands together for the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Glory to God. We celebrate God and we thank the parents and the family who have chosen this church. Amen. To pray over your child and to present them back to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I must really recognize Someone from the political directorate who is here with us today, Councillor Omar Mitchell. It's good to have you, sir. Amen. From the cricket division, stand to be recognized. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Praise God. We are happy to have you, sir. And I say congratulations and commendation in retaining your seat. I know you kind of feel lonely now, but... <laughs> I know it's kind of feel lonely now, but it's better to be there than not to be there. Amen. And how young you are, you don't want to go into that kind of retirement so early. But I wish you all the best. You're doing well, sir, and continue to do what you're doing. Put your hands together for counselor. Amen. We're happy to have you. And we're happy to have back our very own with us, who have been out for a while and overseas and is back with us. Amen. Mrs. Lynn. And the son, amen. Stand, Mrs. Lynn, the wife of Mr. Paul Lynn and his son, amen. They are very much a part of our church and we're happy to have you back. God bless you. Amen. We're happy to have, amen, members of the staff from the Bank of Nova Scotia Christiana, assistant manager and whole staff. Amen. What a Sunday to come to church. I hope you walk with your checkbook or the key for the chase over there. You see the condition, we need help. Amen. 
Miss Tanisha Reed and her staff and members from the Bank of Nova Scotia Christiana. Put your hands together for them worshiping with us today. It's good that we are friends with everyone and it's good that, amen, um, Bank of Nova Scotia can come because every time we go there, every week, more than one time. So I'm happy that you see where we are coming from, coming to you. Amen. So the <laughs> And I'm also happy that we go to NCB every week too. And we're happy that one of the managers of NCB is a member of the church. Amen. Right, Sister Angela? Wave your hand, Sister Angela. So I hope, well, I don't have to say hope. She's here every week and all the time. So we're happy that we have bankers and all different kind of people in the church. So you don't have to worry about where we're getting money from to build the church. Amen. We have bankers with us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> God provides. All if alone, God provide it. Because <laughs> at some point in time, you might just hear, Jesus paid it all. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. That was an advertisement. That was an appeal. Amen. <laughs> Ever know how to appeal in some unique ways for help and support. Amen. And so I welcome all of you and all the other persons. I respect you and I welcome you. And uh, my own schoolmate, who is the wife, husband of Sister Vivid. Amen. He's worshiping with us from Turks and Caicos. We're happy to have you, sir. God bless you. Put your hands together for him. And there were some persons who came to funeral yesterday. They said because of the service and the experience that they have had, they had to come back to church today. Wave your hands where you are. Just wave your hands. Put your hands together for them, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our young people continue to do well. I say our young people continue to do well. Sisters, two of our youngsters, two of our boys, are moving on to the national Bible quiz competition final. Oh, so they were, they are part, oh. They participated in the regional level and they have been given certificate and we are happy for them the way how they have performed and the national director have signed the certificates and they are proud of the two boys, two youngsters. I'm going to ask them to run on out here. Jay Summon and Jerwain Griffiths. Come on, give it up for Jace and Jerwain. They have done well, they have done well. High five, high five, high five, high five. Yeah, I have an ice pop for you. You want it? No? We are till church over. <laughs> All right. So he's the preacher, and that's the prayer warrior. You want to hear him pray? He prays. He preaches. Put your hands together for them. Celebrate them, celebrate them. God bless you. You may be seated. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, on Friday and yesterday, we had two coastal load from Spaulings going to our national teens and children competition where we competed against hundreds of churches in the Old Harbor from all over. And our children and teens have been preparing days, weeks, amen, by Sister Marisa, Sister Wignall, Brother Wignall. I'm going to ask these coaches to come on out here. Sister Akilia and Jordan, they have been preparing. Come on, where, where are my coaches? Come on, stand right where you are, Brother Wignall. 
There you have Akila, Sister Marisa, our district performing arts director coming down, and our local performing arts directors, our music engineer, our engineer. Amen. They have been preparing our teams, teams in various ways they performed from the babies up to the teenagers and you wait for the results wait for the results sister wignall is sister wignall come on up here sister wignall they have worked long and hard they have had our children from 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock sometimes in the morning until 4 or 5 o'clock in the evenings. Sometimes from 4 o'clock until 9 o'clock in the night. They have been drilling them, preparing them, amen, for this national competition. Yesterday was the finals, Friday. And this is how the results came back to Spaulings after we have gone up against some big giant churches like Eastwood Park, Waltham Park. Some big churches with hundreds of members. Corporate area, Montego Bay Church. All of them big church. For solo praise dance, first place. Solo expressive dance, first place. For Solo contemporary worship dance, Britannia Ratri, second place. Group praise, first place. Group expressive, first place. Group contemporary worship, first place. Solo praise dance, Jardisha Griffiths alone, first place. Solo expressive dance, Abriana Lewis, second place. Solo Contemporary Worship, Alicia Crossfield, Brittany, first place. Group Praise, first place. Group Expressive, first place. Group Contemporary Worship, first place. Children, Electric Keyboard, yeah, first place. Drums, Indefinite Pitch, Joshua, first place. Children, large vocal, ensemble, first place. Solo male vocal, first place. Solo female vocal, fourth place. Strings plucked, Tyrese, first place. Saxophone, Giovanni Rattri, first place. Percussion, indefinite pitch. Come on, somebody, we're not finished yet. Second place. Small instrumental ensemble that is the band. First place. Large vocal ensemble. Spalding and Santa Hill come together. Third place. Solo female vocal. Kenzia Johnson Santa Hill. Fifth place. Overall. Overall music winners. Spali New Testament. Overall, dance winners. Spali New Testament. The champion church in Jamaica. One more time. Spali New Testament. Take it to the world. Tell them we are destined for greatness. Where are the children? Where are the participants? All of you, come out here, come out here. Come on, drum rolls, make some noise. Make some noise, where are the participants? Celebrate them, celebrate them. I feel we pick me them here. I have invested, I have spent thousands of dollars to ensure that they do well and they have done it again. Woo! Look at them, look at them. Celebrate. 
celebrate. Woo! You see why them love church? Come on, stand and give them a round of applause. Show them that you appreciate them. They are our future. They are going to represent Jamaica. Somebody praise God. This is the big one. Watch the big one. Never finish it. So, having gone to Old Harbor, took on over 300 churches, and have come out on top. Come next year, July, August, our team is heading to Cleveland, Tennessee. Guess what? Not only one, not only two pieces. But guess what? Overall, it, we, ent we have it 12 pieces that we entered. And 11 out of the 12 has been qualified to go to Cleveland, Tennessee to participate against 180 countries. We will be representing Jamaica. We did it last year. And we came back as the champion. And we are going back to tell the world, little Spalin, we little but we tell our, we have power, we have gifts, we have ability, and we are destined for greatness. Put your hands together for them, everybody. Woo. I love all of you. I love all of you. And I know you're looking for something. I'm going to treat you. I'm going to treat you. Not ice cream this time. I'm going to give you something more than ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> you know your pastor. I'm going to take care of you. Because guess what? Encouragement sweetens and strengthens labor. Put your hands together for them, everybody. Clap your hands and go down. Clap your hands and go down. I am proud of them. I am proud of them. Yes. So we are proud of them. We are proud of them. Each time they are going and for the past couple of days and weeks and I have to sign a check and look at the figure. Oh God. I didn't sign it with a burden and a heavy heart. I signed it with joy. Because I know it's an investment and it's support for them. Brothers and sisters, going to Cleveland, Tennessee last year, it cost us over $2 million for them to go. But persons came in and helped us. I'm going to make an appeal today for those who can help us to send them off. It's an opportunity because many of them haven't had visa, haven't had a visa, but we have seen where. They have gone and some have been given opportunities to travel even after the Tennessee because they got five years, ten years. And we are looking forward because out of this, they can get scholarship to go to Lee University, Oxford, which of these universities overseas. And so we want to send them. So that means we do not um, um, stifle them, yes, or kill their potential or any opportunity for growth and advancement. Amen? And so I ask for that level of support. As per usual, you know, further down in the year, we will have our dance fest where we will see what they have entered with. Amen? And so you will come out on that night and support them in that big gospel concert further down between September, October, dance fest. All right? So I ask for the support in that regard for our children. Amen, somebody? Praise God. Momentarily, they will be going over for children's church, and they don't have to, be, have to worry. Your refreshments have been provided by yours truly, so you don't have to worry. Just go over. If your mommy, if you carried your child, and you didn't remember the snack, don't worry. We provide food, refreshment for them whilst they are there being engaged 
by our teachers. These are teachers from the primary or high school level that engage them in different activities and they are quite active for the time that they are there until the dismissal of church. Amen, somebody? So we pray for them and we continue to lift them up in the name of the Lord. All the other announcements are as, are, um, were read and I hope that you bear them in mind and that God will continue to keep you. Amen. And I, on another note, we pray for the first lady of the church, Sister Hepburn. She has lost her mother on Thursday morning. And so we pray for Sister Hepburn on the passing of her mother, my mother-in-law and my children's grandmother. And so we pray for the family during this time of lost. Amen, somebody. And all the others who are grieving, we pray for them. You see, some people in some kind of hut, yeah, and some kind of tie, is hot and tie day, yeah. So the Solomon Rally Group is having their hot and tie day, and so you pay two hundred dollars as a form of raising funds to assist with the development and the progress of the church. So it's only two hundred dollars if you wear a pretty tie, and if you don't wear a tie, still give a contribution, and if you don't wear a hat, you still give a contribution. No, put it on in you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just support the Solomon group and then we are looking for the support on Friday as it relates to the dinner. Amen. It's for a worthy cause and you'll see that we need to get this building going further in terms of doing the tiling, the ceiling and other things that needs to be done. We give God thanks. We almost finished the administrative section and so we want to do some more work on the cathedral inside the sanctuary. Amen somebody? I pray for your support. Brothers and sisters, when mothers of Salem their children brought to Jesus, stern disciples drove them back and bid them depart. Jesus saw them Where they fled, sweetly smile. When mothers I'm gonna invite the mothers and fathers, godparents, and the grandparents, with the babies to come at this time. Officers. and give God a praise, everybody. Praise God. 
Reverend Williams will be reading the scripture at this time. Hallelujah. Hear the word of the Lord from Matthew 19, verses 13, 14. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come unto me for such is the kingdom of heaven. The word of the Lord we say. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, parents, godparents, grandparents, well wishers and supporters, I want to encourage you today. I want to allow you to know if you didn't know that your child is an awesome gift. It's an awesome gift. Awesome gift. And because your child is an awesome gift, you have a responsibility to be faithful to the Lord as you grow this child whom the Lord has given to you as a gift. So the first responsibility of parents is to love the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and might. It means that before a parent can dedicate their children to the Lord, they must love the Lord themselves. There are many parents who go through the motions with their Christianity. They do what is expected of them by the rest of of their church. They bring their children to be dedicated because it is a tradition. The problem is that it is a biblical tradition and the Bible has some rules regarding dedication, dedicating children to him. The first rule is that parents must be right and accept that there is a God, which I do believe and I do accept and confirm that you know that there is a God. So you ought to, your responsibility is to be faithful to the Lord. Faithful in prayer. Faithful in reading the word. Faithful in worshiping. And if you can fast, fast, go ahead and fast. Some of you may not be able to go on fasting like myself was for 12 days, 30 days, 40 days. Amen. We can do a two hours, one hour. Five hours, one day fast. It is important that you seek God for spiritual strength through fasting and prayer. So it's your responsibility to be faithful to your God. Secondly, as you have been given this awesome gift, you need to know that it is your responsibility to be examples for the Lord. Parents need to be examples for their children. They have to be the ones who sing praises to the Lord, not just in church. But when you're at home, they sing hymns and choruses and you allow them to know how important it is for them to recognize and praise the God of our salvation, Jehovah. They must be the ones who read the Bible for themselves and then have family devotions with your children. And so it is your responsibility to be good parents, good examples what it means to be a Christian. But those who dedicate their children should be ones who serve God for the rest of the week, not just Sunday, not just Monday, but every day of the week. And then third and finally, it is your responsibility to be trainers of your children. Trainers of your children. Train them when they are sitting down Train them when they are walking around. Train them when they are lying down. Train them with the word of God in their hands. Train them with the word of God before their eyes. And do this on a regular basis. And train them. Train them with the word of God written 
and items in the home. Yes, yeah, so you print it, type it, write it, put it up, let them know that the God you serve, his name is Jesus Christ. I always say from early out, the other religious groups introduce their little ones to the God that they recognize. The Muslims tell them about the God. The Rastafarians tell them about Selassie and, and the Buddhism tell them about Buddhist and Islamic. They tell them, but when you realize the Christians, we who believe in Jehovah God, we're afraid to tell our children that our God is the Lord Jesus Christ. Give them the Bible as small as, a, as, as the Muslims are. They tell them about the Torah and they read it and they are knowledgeable about it. But sometimes, we as Christians, we say, listen man, the Bible, come on the book list, that can hold on first. And we get all the different books. And we say, listen, the Bible can. And even when they finish school, they still don't buy the Bible. Because they think that it's not important. Give them the Bible. And that is why when some of us become Christians, we're afraid to talk to other persons who are of different religious groups. Because guess what? We are not knowledgeable of the word of God. But when we have it from young, from we are young, then we are able to defend the God that we believe in. Train them. And then finally I say to us, let me ask you a few questions. Parents, you're going to be answering. Do you love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and might? You're going to answer yes or I do. It's not married, you're getting married now. Don't worry, Yannick. I see you shaking. He's not married. Do you love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and might? Yeah, like the I do. Will you train your children to love the Lord? Do you, will you have a plan to train them? <laughs> will you set a good example for your children to follow? Will you have regular times of devotion with your children? Hello? <laughs> and also, will you rely on the church to help you in raising your child? All right. May I ask the church? Church, will you pray for these parents and their children from this day forward? Will you pray for the salvation of this child at an early age? Will this church pray for the child to marry? Yeah, man, eh? <laughs> Catch you on this one. <laughs> Amen. We, and so, brothers and sisters, our duty is to help the child, to pray for the parents, and ask God to guide them. Remember now, parents... Our responsibility is to be the main providers for our children. Yes? Don't send them out to work when they are small. We carry them, come here. Them, they depend on God veranda. And we go take them off. So it is our responsibility to take care of them. Feed them. Don't allow them up to the woodlums and the predators and the old hawks that are in society to tear them and to destroy them and take away their integrity and their character. Yes, from early. Grow them up, love them, and you be their example. You give them money, you take care of them. No, no man mind your little girl where I go to school, or no man or no woman mind your little boy where I go to school to talk about. Me love him, yes, so send him come. You provide if you love him and you want to give him something while he or she is under your care. No problem, but let it be genuine and without strings attached. Amen? So it's your responsibility. And as you go, remember now, call them by their names. And you give them name, you must can call the name. You hear, sir? You must can call the baby name. So if you allow the mother to give the child a name that you can call her, sorry for you, can't change again. <laughs> All right, so call them their name. No, call them no dog. Because if you call them dog and they look back at you and say, Mama dog and daddy dog, you can't do them nothing. 
You can't beat them because it's only a dog. Carry a dog. Come here. Call them sweet names. Don't call them no junk of that. We call you about junk and you can't do nothing. Because when I said, then if me a junk, I must jail you junk. Don't call them worthless. Don't call them good for nothing. So many a times you say this about them. And guess what? When they become worthless and not come to nothing good, we see how people work up upon them. Nobody not doing. Words that you pronounce over them can take effect. Amen? So tell them that they are excellent. Tell them that they will be great. Tell them that they can be the next prime minister. Tell them that they can be the next president of America. Not like, amen. Tell, <laughs> tell them they can be the next bank manager. Yes. But not tell them, say them worthless and then croft and them that will be this. Words have power. Speak life. Speak good things over their life. Positive things. Amen. I'm going to ask each officer, it's time to come take a baby. The driver of a red Honda CRV blocking the driveway. That's you. And that's Subaru. All right. So if you send the key, we have capable drivers who can just shift it and put it at our. Uh, all right, so momentarily she will move it and uh, Subaru, don't worry, will move momentarily, all right? So if you drive a Subaru after, you can go ahead. Officers, each officer come and take a baby. We have enough officer. Officer, take a baby. I didn't say must take a baby and carry a woman and say some of you are a little bit hesitant. Hold a baby. We have more babies up here. Amen. And I'm happy to see the godparents here. Because when the father can buy the pampas, you know your time, Brother Miller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to see all the godparents. Amen. And it's just, a, it's just good that I fall among the godparents here today. So, Mr. Miller, when you can't buy the pampas for this baby, amen, call me, but it's only when you can't. Right? So, <laughs> so seeing that the two of us are Godfathers, so when you can't, amen, when you reach way down, no, call me yet, you know, when you reach way down. All right. Yes, another boy is around here. Come on up. Come, Brother McLeod. Come for you, you know, no, I can go on. Come. Come, son. Another baby. Come, see me. Lift him up, man. You think you work down a hospital just so? so, so. <laughs> All right, praise God. All right, is the deacon holy? You're becoming deacon too, don't worry. Praise God. Let us pray because we have so much. I'm going to give the officers a minute to breathe a word over them and then I will be doing the act of dedication. Go ahead. Praise God. Microphone. Praise God. Officer. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, I want to thank you. We want to give you praise for Ramona. God, you have allowed her to come into this world. We pray now, Father, you will open every door that she will need to go through. We pray for coverage and protection. We pray for blessings and favor. Bless the parents as they grow her and train her that she will grow to know you and to serve you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise, Almighty God, for this little baby, O oh God Almighty. Charisma, Lord God, that you are brought into this world. I pray, Almighty God, that you will cover her as she grow, O oh God Almighty. She will grow to love you, O oh God Almighty. Back, back every dark clothes from hell, Almighty God. Cover the family. We present her back to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we give you thanks and say amen. Amen. Our God and our Father, at this time, God Almighty, we come to you again. God, you are our Savior. You are our King and you are our Lord. God, we praise you. We adore you. God, this little boy that is being brought to the church, God Almighty, for blessing. God Almighty, we pray that you will lay your hands upon him. God, we pray that your blessing will cover him. God Almighty, we pray for the parents. God Almighty, we pray that they will 
Grow this little boy, God Almighty, in the grace and in the truth of God. Father, we pray that your blessing will be upon them. We pray that they will always find the doors of the church, God Almighty. If they cannot manage, God, we pray that you send them back to the church. Lord God Almighty, where this little boy will grow and grow in the fear and knowledge of your name. Father, we praise you. We adore you. We thank you for them all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we give you thanks again. Hallelujah. For this young boy, this baby. Hallelujah. God Almighty. You call uh, men. God Almighty, and he's small this time, God Almighty. But the calling I declare this morning is on his life. In the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray you'll bless this little boy. Pray you bless his parents in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit this morning. I pray, God Almighty, that he will be grown up in the nurture and admonition of God. God Almighty, I pray, God Almighty, in his going out and coming in, everything, God Almighty. Hallelujah. You will order the parent's step and order his step in the name of Jesus. I bless him now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we magnify you, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given to us to be able to present this young man, this young child to you. Thy word to Lord, suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for touch the kingdom of God to heaven. Lord, we present this little young lad into your hands. Lord God, we're in a world of adversary, full of evil. Holy Spirit of living God, I pray your tabernacle, this little child. I pray your guide is growing up, Holy Spirit. I pray that God, you will rest your divine hands upon it. That this young man grow, become someone worth in life. I pray you provide every resource, every area of his life that God him never lack. Almighty God, through schooling, she's growing up. My God, be a strength unto him. Be a strength for all my, a shield over his life. God Almighty, I pray for his parents, my God, that you may make way for them. Almighty God, that the opportunity may open, God, I pray, be blessing, God, that he may be almighty learned in school. And Lord, whatever the enemy set up, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, let the blood of Jesus rest upon him. Almighty God, when he's going to sleep, cover him under your blood. When he's playing, cover him under your blood. In school, cover him under your blood. Wherever he goes, wherever he dwells, God, be with him. And God, whoever asks not of you, you already know it. I pray grant a call into your blessing in the name of Jesus. We thank you for doing so in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we place this beautiful princess in your hand. I pray, Almighty God, that your hand will always be upon her. That you will bless her, you will protect her. You will help her, Almighty God, to have a good life. But most of all, Almighty God, help her to trust you as Lord and Savior. I give you praise for her and for all that concerns her in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up this child before you this morning. Lord, we thank you for the, the gift of life. We thank you, oh God, that you see it so, oh God, privilege you give unto his parents. Such a wonderful gift. And so, Lord, we pray a blessing upon his life. Lord, as we present him before you today, I pray, Lord, for your protection. I pray for your provision, Lord. I pray that you will make a way for the parents. Lord God Almighty, let there not be a time in his life, Lord, when he's in need of anything. But you will bless the parents, Lord. We commit his life into your hand. We pray that you will protect him and guide him. Lord, protect him from every dangers of the enemy. Today, God, we present him back to you. Cover him and keep him and bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. Next one, next one. How sweet it is to hold a newborn babe. Oh, the pride and joy it brings. Lord, I present this child back to you. I pronounce him dedicated in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. He's in your hands, and I pronounce him for bet. I declare betterment, success, and victory over his life. In Jesus' name, amen.
Come to God, Father. <laughs> Sister Hepburn, the one here feel nice. <laughs> How sweet it is to hold a newborn babe. I thank you, God, for her. I pray that you'll bless her, guide her. Pray, God, that you'll lift up the light of your countenance upon her, and her future will be bright. Pronounce a blessing upon her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I give her back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I present this child back to you. I give him today to you. His tomorrow, his future is in your hands for success, for victory, for blessings and prosperity. I lift him up with the covering from above to you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce him dedicated. Amen. Father, thank you for this young son. Lord, I present him to you, Lord. Pray God that you'll bless him, guide him, his steps, his thoughts, his utterances. Pray the Father that you'll cover him and strengthen him. And I pronounce him dedicated in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This one is a quiet one. All of them are quiet, but they're just hot. Father, we thank you and we present this child back to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce him dedicated. Mm -hmm. And I pray that his future will be bright. Success will crown his efforts. In Jesus' name, amen. Just, just a minute, Rev. Just a minute. Um, there is an emergency, so person that is blocking the driveway, please to move your vehicle. There is an emergency. So if you're blocking the driveway, please do so now. Thank you. Father, we thank you for this child. We present her back to you, dedicated, and that her future will be bright continuously. Pronounce a blessing upon her in her going out and in her coming in. And I declare her dedicated in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Father, thank you, Lord, for this, your daughter, a gift from you. I present her back to you, and I declare her dedicated in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, blessings, coverage, and guidance continually. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you very much. So after having done this, it's for me now to match the names with the babies. Permit me and allow me to call these names and pray for me. Javer Omario. Anthony D'Aquila, Diagular, all right, bless you, come Rev, assist me here, this is a certificate, certificate, dedication certificate and a bottle of consecrated olive oil. Charisma Adelia Taylor. Adalia. All right. Ramona Mahaley Simpson.
Khalil Anthony Anderson. Daquan Kahir, fourth. Everybody getting all right. <laughs> Trisiane, Trisiori, Yahania, Weller. I have overcome. <laughs> I've overcome. <laughs> you want me to try it again? I speak. You want me to speak in tongues, man? <laughs> Amir Marcin Lamario Scott. Wonderful. Officer Wallace, she speaks French. She teaches Spanish at the territory level. Next time, I'm going to ask her to assist me because I know some of these names are really French and Spanish. I haven't seen any Chinese yet. So <laughs> I pray that one of these days we'll have some Chinese from Spalding and Christiana bringing babies to be dedicated. <laughs> All right. We welcome and we thank you all for choosing this Paul in New Testament Church of God. God bless you. We really appreciate it. And may God keep you and guide you and we invite you back to church another time. Thanks. And that was Deacon, a Deacon baby that. Deacon Campbell. Amen. Praise God. Put your hands together for them. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, the moderator will continue and momentarily we'll be out of here. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I guess this was a record, Rev. I've never seen seven. Seven. On the seventh day. Wow. This is significant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to track those children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. God is good. It was certainly great being your moderator for today. I'm going to be inviting um, the officer in charge, Sister um, Officer Akilia Thompson at this time to take us further into our service. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. Well, afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. The task is mine to lead you into the giving of your tithes and offering. And while I was thinking about this, this verse came to mind. It's from Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. I'm kindly asking that at this time, let us quiet our hearts. There's a lot of noise going on in the sanctuary. Okay. So the word of the Lord comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24, and it says, and whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know many times when we're asked to give our tithes and offering, we always think that we're giving it to people. A lot of persons will say, we don't want to give to the church because we're giving it to pastor, or we're giving it to officers, or we're giving it to church members. But this morning I'm imploring you, let us think that the Lord is standing here. So when we carry up our tithes and offerings, we're doing it as unto God. We're giving it unto the Lord. So we're going to say this prayer at this time. It's the liturgy. We say it every Sunday. And it is going to be projected on the screen up there for those who do not have the ability to see that far. You would have a sheet of paper like this. On the back of it, it says liturgy. I'm asking you to keep seated and we're going to repeat this together. All right, so at this time, it's time for Children's Church. I'm inviting all of the children to please stand and make your way orderly to the old building for Children's Church. Children, all the children of the
At this time, we're going to be repeating the liturgy. Please remain seated. I'm thankful for your mercies, O Lord, and for the honor of sowing seeds into your kingdom. As an act of my own gratitude to you, I have brought my best gift for worship. I bring your tithes and offering into your house as you have commanded me in the book of Malachi chapter 3. I do so with a willing, generous, and cheerful heart. May you accept my gift like that of our brother Abel. May you bless it, O Lord, and cause it to multiply into many folds. May my offering and my tithes serve as a defense against the devourer of my resources. I decree an end to all my dry seasons. I declare an atmosphere of plenty in my own life and that of my family and friends. I am proving you and trusting you to open the windows of heaven over my life with jobs and promotions, raises and benefits, loan settlements, love gifts and surprises, expansion in my business, bills decreasing and blessings increasing. I thank you that your ministering spirits are now free to minister to me and bring the necessary resources. Amen. I'm asking you to pay attention to the ushers who are in the middle aisle. They will direct you on how to give. When you are going to give, you walk up through the middle aisle and then you walk to the sides to go back to your respective seats. If it is that you are giving from a card that facility is made available to you, you can indicate to an usher that that's what you would like to do and they will direct you on where to go. And for those who are worshiping us online, the information will go across the screen and you will be directed on how to give. I'm inviting the praise team at this time to lead us into giving.
be ministered to using the word of God. And that will be done by our Bishop, Steve Hepburn. But before that, I'm going to ask the Oracles of Praise Choir to minister to you. Bless the Lord, everybody. Let me hear you worship the name of the Lord.
Anointed singing, inspiring singing. Put your hands together for them, everybody. Oh, the most. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. My, my, my. My, 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 my. Mighty God, church nice, you know, serving Jesus nice, you know. Somebody just lift your hand and praise God, everybody. You see, after having gone through, for some of us, a miserable week, a hectic week, a frustrating period, a discouraging moment, and you come to church and you can't just celebrate and you can't just enjoy yourself and say, say me it all down, Lord. Say me it all down. My God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, without any further ado, let me share this quick word to your hearts. And then whoosh, we're out of here. See if I can get five minutes rest. And then head on into Kingston to close the Full Truth International Convention where hundreds of people are now gathered awaiting the word from yours truly. I pray for the anointing for today and this evening. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I speak to you on the topic. Wait for your Isaac. Wait for your Isaac. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, wait for your Isaac. Brothers and sisters, sometimes you wake up and you get a sermon. Sometimes in your sleep you get a sermon. Sometimes it's through somebody's testimony you get a sermon. Hello, and Monday I was at a convention and I heard a sister testifying about Isaac. And I said, my God, thank you for that word. And I spent a few hours preparing, researching, and preparing. And I hope that my discourse and my delivery here today, amen, will find you leaving here blessed, inspired. Brothers and sisters, a passage of scripture was read, Genesis chapter 18. But I would that you turn with me to Genesis chapter 12, where I'll be looking at, pick up that for me, technical team, media team. Genesis chapter 12, and I'll read verses 1 to 3. Praise God. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation. Hmm? And I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Somebody say a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them, curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall, a fam shall all families of the earth be blessed. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, when you look at also chapter 15, verses 1 through to 7, it tells us about how the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look, don't, look now toward heaven. And tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of earth, out of the Chaldees, to give thee this land to inherit it. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, Today I want us to delve into a profound lesson from the story of Abraham and Isaac found in the book of Genesis. This narrative not only reveals the depth of Abraham's faith, but also teaches us valuable lessons about waiting on God's promises. Our theme or topic today, wait for your Isaac. In the journey of faith, there are moments that test our resolve. 
challenge our patience and call us to wait expectantly for God's promise to be fulfilled. Somebody praise God. Look at somebody near to you and say, hey neighbor, wait expectantly for God's promises to be fulfilled. Oh, hallelujah. One of the most profound stories illustrating this principle is found in the biblical narrative of Abraham and his long-awaited son, Isaac. Abraham, originally, originally known as Abram, was called by God to leave his homeland and journey to a land that God would show him. And so in chapter 12 of the book of Genesis, God promised Abraham that he would become the father of a great nation. And it is through his descendants, all the nations of the earth would be blessed. This promise marked the beginning of a remarkable journey of faith for Abraham. Somebody praise God. Despite the assurance of God's promise, Abraham and his wife Sarah faced a significant obstacle. They were both advanced in age and Sarah was barren. Somebody praise God. Oh, yet they clung to the hope that God would fulfill his promise in his perfect timing. Oh, somebody help me quickly around here. The journey of waiting for Isaac was not easy. Come on, somebody. The journey for any of us in waiting on our promise to be fulfilled won't be an easy one. But we have to wait anyways. If God said, I'm going to wait. Oh, somebody help me preach quickly. The, the journey, the waiting period tested Abraham and Sarah's faith. It stretched Sister Claudia in their patience and required them to trust in God's faithfulness even when circumstances seem impossible. Somebody help me quickly. However, it was through the waiting God was shaping Abraham and Sarah's character. Somebody praise God. Oh God, what is that I just discovered? Somebody praise God. It is through the waiting period that God shaped Abraham and Sarah's character, deepening their reliance on him and preparing them for the fulfillment of his promise. Brothers and sisters, the culmination of their faith journey came when Isaac, the son of promise, was finally born to Sarah in her old age. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. They named the child that was born to them Isaac. And the name Isaac originates from the Hebrew name Yitzchak. Yitzchak meaning he will laugh or laughter. Somebody praise God. So the name Isaac comes from the Hebrew word which carries the idea or the meaning that he will laugh or it's about laughter. Somebody praise God. So in the Bible, Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah and he was given the name because Sarah laughed when she was told she would bear a child in her old age. Isaac's significance lies in being the child of promise. Somebody praise God. I say his significant lies, my God, in the fact that he is the child of promise. The fulfillment of God's covenant with Abraham and the continuation of the lineage through which the Messiah would eventually come. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, yet even after Isaac's birth, their faith would have faced, would face one final and ultimate test. The command from God to sacrifice Isaac. 
the very son that, had wait, that they had waited so long for. And so in reflecting on the story of Abraham and Isaac, we find timeless lessons about the importance of waiting patiently for God's promises. We find some important truths. Come on, somebody, about trusting in God's faithfulness and surrendering our desires and plans to his will. Brothers and sisters, as we explore the theme, the topic of waiting for your Isaac, May I draw or ask us to draw some form of inspiration from Abraham and Sarah's journey of faith and find encouragement to persevere in our own waiting season. Somebody praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, ah, irrespective, it doesn't mind the length of your waiting season. You've got to persevere. Come on, somebody. Because if you're waiting expectantly, Lord God, it requires us, Lord God, persevering. Somebody say, persevere. Oh, hallelujah. Knowing that God is faithful. Uh, to fulfill his promises in his perfect timing. Brothers and sisters, there are about two or three things I will cover in this short discourse. One, the promise and the waiting period. Come on, somebody. The promise and the waiting period. So we see in Genesis chapter 12, God made a covenant with Abraham, promising him, promising him descendants, as numerous as the stars, Abraham, despite his old age and his wife Sarah's barrenness, believed in the promise. Is there somebody here who believe in the promise? Is there somebody here who believe in the prophecy? Oh, God Almighty, if you don't believe in it, I can't prophesy right now. Somebody praise God. Somebody help me here. Oh, somebody praise God. Old age stood in their way. Barrenness stood in their way. But they still believed. Somebody praise God. Obstacles were many. Come on, somebody. They were clear. They were quite evident from a human perspective as it relates to biology, as it relates to chemistry, as it relates to the reproductive process. Come on, somebody. Oh, God Almighty. This promise of having a child, oh God, from a literal perspective, could almost be said it is impossible. But from a spiritual point of view, come on, somebody. From a godly viewpoint, somebody praise God, it was possible. For what is impossible with man, Oh God, are we gone? Somebody praise God. What is impossible with man is possible with God. Somebody praise Almighty God. Somebody shout hallelujah. However, brothers and sisters, years passed and there was no sign of the promised child. Oh God Almighty, somebody help me here. Years passed. No sign, five years, six years, seven years, this can't come true again. This is not for me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty. But it is the way of life. They have to know, accept the way of life. Somebody prays, God Almighty. But the promise, the prophecy is true. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. I feel a preacher here, you know. Can I preach to this church? Years passed. And there was no sign. The fulfillment of the promise of the prophecy. But the fulfillment often requires waiting. Fulfillment requires waiting. Touch your neighbor say, I'm still waiting. God Almighty, dear son, I'm still waiting. Some come past you, but I'm still waiting. Somebody prays. Some get through before you, but I'm still waiting. You wrinkle and gray now, but you're still waiting. Everything drop for Sarah, but she's still waiting. 
Even for Abraham, everything dropped to, but him still waiting. Come on, now somebody help me here. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, come on church. Come on church. Waiting for your Isaac means trusting in God's this into God's timing despite the apparent delay. God Almighty, somebody getting something, you write it down, you know, holy. Waiting for your Isaac means trusting in God's timing despite the apparent delay. Come on, somebody, worship God. Remember, I say Isaac means laughter. Waiting for your period of laughter. Waiting for your joy. Waiting for your happiness. Waiting for your contentment. Waiting. Somebody praise God. Can I talk to your choir? Can I talk to you? Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, I feel God. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. The promise and the waiting period. Think about a seed planted in the ground. It takes time before it breaks through the soil and eventually grows into a tree. Similarly, our promises from God need time to mature. Somebody praise God. Our promises from God need time to mature. Not only time to mature, but time to bear fruit. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Oh God Almighty. Somebody say, I'm waiting on my promise. Because it will grow. It will eventually be fulfilled and bear fruit. It will come up. Come on, somebody help me here. The waiting period is long. Come on, somebody. And it seems like... And draw away your seed, draw away your promise. It seems like fowl scratch out the seed. Come on, so it seems like water wash away the seed. It's so oh, somebody praise God, hallelujah! But it still will come up. Somebody praise God. It seems like they have thrown garbage and dump on the area that you have planted the seed. Come on, somebody, but eventually, come on, if God say you shall live, come on, somebody, it does. It doesn't matter what they want to dump on you. It doesn't matter how they want to bury you. It doesn't matter how they want to reject you. It doesn't matter how they want to throw you aside. It doesn't matter how they want to delay you. When your time comes to bring forth fruit, wickedness can't stop you. Sorcery can't stop you. Evil plots schemes. God Almighty, somebody help me preach the man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout a praise in the house. Somebody raise a praise. Raise a praise. And say, I'm waiting on my Isaac. I am waiting on my promise. I am waiting on my blessing. I am waiting on my season. I am waiting on my change. God Almighty, come on, no spalling. Somebody praise God. Lord God, I'm from Bishop Graham. I'm from Bishop Robert Williams. I'm from Bishop Donovan Knight. And no help burn come. And it seemed like nothing are going go on. Somebody praise God. It's not that the promise or the prophecy has been cancelled. It's not that the Isaac dead before birth. Come on, oh somebody. But the, at the appointed time, you shall give birth. You sh somebody shout something quickly. Somebody shout glory. Robando Sacriae. Mm. Somebody touch your neighbor, say, wait. Wait on your Isaac. There's a waiting period for the promise. But as you wait on the promise, secondly, sounds like me soon done preach, huh? 
Secondly, as you wait on your promise, avoid the Ishmael. Lord God, somebody help me here. As you wait on the promise, avoid Ishmael. Somebody praise God. I wonder if you see where I'm going. Don't create an Ishmael. Don't create an Ishmael. Ishmael is not the promise. Isaac is the promise. Oh, somebody praise God. The promise has no substitute. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody. If God promise you don't help God, God needs no help. Sit down in your season and wait for the full, for the fulfillment. Somebody praise God. Church, why should you avoid an Ishmael as you wait for the promised Isaac? Because Ishmael is a dilemma. Giving birth to an Ishmael is giving birth to a dilemma, confusion, conflict, problems, embarrassment, disrespect. Might is giving birth to some issues. You don't need to take on some issues that you can avoid. Just wait on the promise. Because taking on some issues and some situations, when the time of promise come, come on somebody, Lord God Almighty, eh, something, it may cause some of that eh, developing problems. But if you wait, what are you talking about, Pastor? In the story of Abraham and Sarah, the birth of Ishmael represents a pivotal moment in their journey of waiting for God's promise of a son. Sarah, come with me now, church. Sarah, feeling desperate and impatient, suggests that Abraham should go have a child with her maidservant, Hagar, as a means to fulfill God's promise. Come on somebody help me here. I say you can't help God. And you can't determine for God. Come on somebody help me here. God knows the right timing. He knows the right person. He knows the right place. Come on somebody help. Oh God almighty. I'm speaking to somebody in this house. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Despite knowing God's promise. Of a son through Sarah. Abraham agrees to Sarah's plan. And Ishmael was born. Come on now somebody. However, Ishmael's birth becomes a source of conflict and complication with Abraham's family. Am I talking to the church? Ishmael, through though a son of Abraham, is not the son of promise. Come on, somebody help me in this house. Though he was a son of Abraham, he was not the son of promise. Leading, and this led to a tension. This led to tension and eventual separation separation between him and Isaac the true hear of God's covenant with Abraham somebody praise God brothers and sisters can I tell you about impatience and consequences there are consequences for impatience the story of Ishmael highlights the consequences of impatience and taking matters in our own hands Sarah's impatience Patience led to the birth of Ishmael outside of God's timing and plan, resulting in conflict, resulting in division within the family. Somebody praise God. Similarly, may I say to the church, come with me, worshipers, prayer workers, come with me. Similarly, 
when we rush ahead of God's timing or seek to fulfill his promises in our own strength we may encounter unintended consequences that bring strife bring turmoil bring pain bring embarrassment bring disgrace somebody praise God somebody lift your hand and say impatience has consequences so I rather to wait somebody praise God to rush ahead of God and try to help God to turn out into turmoil turn out into problems into situations conflicts and division somebody praise God somebody worship God look at your neighbor say neighbor as you avoid Ishmael our God as you avoid the conflict and the dilemma during your waiting period make sure you trust in God's timing somebody say trust God's timing Ishmael serves as a reminder of the importance that we of trusting in God's timing and waiting patiently for his promises to be fulfilled though the waiting may be difficult and uncertain God's timing is always perfect somebody praise God when we wait for God's best somebody praise God Jesus Christ Reverend you know you're talking to when we wait for God's best and don't settle for mediocrity come on somebody help me here we are positioning ourselves to receive his blessing somebody praise God when we wait on the promise when we wait on our Isaac we are eventually or actually saying Lord the waiting is long the period seem long but I am waiting because after my waiting shall surely come my blessing somebody praise God somebody help me down here somebody shout hallelujah his blessings hallelujah hallelujah avoid the complications that comes from pursuing our own desires ahead of God's plan oh I just say something I say avoid Ishmael because Ishmael are complications Ishmael a problem Ishmael is conflict Ishmael is hardship Ishmael is difficulty somebody praise God somebody shout hallelujah somebody show glory somebody look at your neighbor say neighbor Isaac me say I know Ishmael somebody praise God somebody praise God I say your Isaac is unwell don't abort it for an Ishmael don't cancel it for an Ishmael Lord God can I preach here somebody praise God don't settle for mediocrity don't settle for little or nothing don't settle for being a doormat don't settle for being someone who is obligated to another person wait for your promise wait for your promise wait for your prophecy I come to tell the church that on this seventh day of April though it was told to you though it was revealed to you somebody praise God somebody praise God something God somebody praise God somebody worship God say neighbor it is promised and you shall surely receive it Lord God at the appointed time you shall give birth some on somebody at the appointed time you shall laugh at the appointed time you shall have joy again somebody praise God can I preach like I feel it somebody shout hallelujah wait for your Isaac somebody shout glory say I am waiting I am waiting 
for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagle they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint teach me Lord somebody praise God wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout glory somebody shout glory somebody wave your hand and say I'm waiting I am waiting it's a long waiting but I am waiting for I shall surely laugh again I shall sing again I shall shout again I shall rejoice again I shall smile again oh somebody help me preach wait on your Isaac somebody online somebody in this house wait on your Isaac wait on your prophecy wait on your promise it shall surely be fulfilled don't abort it by getting an Ishmael don't abort it Ishmael is not the promise Ishmael is not the prophecy come on somebody Ishmael is a delay Ishmael huh? somebody praise God Ishmael is a barrier in the midst of the waiting process somebody help me preach Shukuda Sabando somebody shout for I'm coming true show glory show glory show glory show glory show glory shout hallelujah wait for your Isaac don't rush nothing don't push nothing sit down in your corner no grudge nobody no bad mind nobody no COVID nobody Lord God Almighty them are chat you but you are waiting on your Isaac them are criticize you but you are waiting on your Isaac they are giving you hell in your workplace but I wait you are waiting they are giving you basket to carry water but you are waiting on your Isaac then looking on your house and I say look Panar look where she live look how much money she has own and look on the broke down house but I wait you are wait somebody praise God some people say look how long you have been employed and you can't get promotion you know I rush nothing I wait you are waiting for at the appointed time your Isaac shall come forth your blessing shall come forth your table shall turn your abundance shall come can I preach like I feel it when your time coming come oh, sukuda. Rapuna ke satoria Some of your hand and show glory Show glory Show glory Show glory Go on pay rent and wait for your Isaac Go on take taxi and wait for your Isaac Somebody praise God Go on study and wait on your Isaac Somebody praise God Go and wear your one shoes and wait for your Isaac. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Go on catching at the one room and wait on your Isaac for at the appointed time. God, I got boss you. You see, Elder. Some trust in chariots. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Somebody pray for me and say, Go through, Pastor. Go through. Ah, some trust in chariots. Some in horses. Some trust in sweepstick. Some trust in lotto. 
Some trust in scamming, some trust in pick tree. But any tree you are pick, pick the Father, pick the Son, pick the Holy Ghost. Any part you are catch, catch the Holy Ghost part. For when God bust you, then you're not going to have eyes to see you. When God fling the door of heaven open, I say, Who all blessing? And then we are walk up here. I feel turned so back and say, Go you, girl. Touch your neighbor, say, I come here, go you. Touch your neighbor, say, Go you. Them are laugh, but you are go to. Them are give you hell, but you are go to. Them are chat you and a king teeth with you same time, but I go, you are go to. You know I'm a preach like I feel it in this house. Somebody talk to me down here. Say I come here, I go too. For when your time come, no wickedness can stop you. Bad mind can stop you. Lord God, witches and warlock can stop you. Voodoo and black magic can stop you. For upon this rock, I build my church. And the gates of hell. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm going to my third and final point. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Sometimes I know everybody you can't tell about your Isaac. Who know, know. But some people nothing know. Take your time and cut and go through. And when them here say you fly out for your eyes are come. Make them mouth drain mouth water like for Percy. Somebody praise almighty God. Make them drop off of their chair. And say me never know say something I go on. For come on now somebody. Come on now somebody. Go on progress in silence. Go on prosper in silence. Somebody praise God. Somebody cannot preach in this house. Prosper in silence. Unabo Shakodia. Wait. 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 Somebody say wait. Wait for your Isaac. Wait for your Isaac. Third and final. As you wait for your Isaac. Before I even go there, brothers and sisters, and that's why you see, when this church is so big, I can't see everybody from up here. It's good to see you, Miss Kay. Good to see you. Oh, now Bulls Jerk Center. Welcome here. When you jerk, remember me. Only, not the other one, the, the right one. Somebody praise God. Brothers and sisters, despite the complications surrounding Ishmael's birth, God remains faithful to his promises. Come on, somebody. So although they should have avoided the Ishmael, come on, son, they went ahead and helped the process. The Ishmael come. But God still keep the promise. Still bring to fruition what he has promised to them. God did not abandon Ishmael or his descendant. But he continues to show his grace and mercy towards them. Ishmael's story reminds us that even when, when we are off course, our make mistakes. God is able to redeem and restore us. Ultimately bringing about his purposes in our lives. Because there are some people, you know, who walk around with the notion. Because you see, through them are God's secretary. Come on, somebody. And because them are God hint, man. Come on, so, so them walk around and say they have your future in their hand. Come on, you to Papi show. Come on, somebody, help me here. Walk around and behave as if they control. You make a mistake, so you have no place around here. You have erred, you have no place around here. The blood of Jesus is against you. 
you know God. And it's not over until it's over. Fall ten times if God choose to rise you up. Move out of the way. Sister, we have some earthly gods. Just like all your village lawyers, you have some village gods in this place. Not talking about Paul in the New Testament, but in a jam dung, living among humanity. They look at you and all they want to do. Because you have heard, they just write you off. Cha! Cha! That day, day. I see how much time God now have no use for him. All right, God's secretary. Keep record. Somebody pray because that's all you can do. You can keep record, but you cannot present them to God as evidence to destroy. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Brothers and sisters, there are some people who are killers, condemners. And if you're not careful, you don't make it to the next level. Because they are looking at your past. And even in your present failure. And they are now saying that there is no hope for you in the future. But I have come to counteract that. I have come to tell you today that that is a lie from the pit of hell. Man's decision concerning your future is not final. God have the final say. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, What? On your Isaac. Avoid the Ishmael. Church, the story is told that this man had a horse. And the horse was sick for a very long. And it appears as if the horse wasn't able to do anything for him. So he dug a hole and put the horse in it. Come on, somebody, are you there? And that ho hole that he dug and placed the horse in it, he would use it as an area to dump his garbage. Peeling skin, old can, old bottle, old de everything, debris and all. And every day he would go, others would go and throw garbage because guess what? The horse dead. Now have no use again. But the storyteller says, one morning, the sun went to empty the trash can. And as he poured it out, he realized an unusual shaking in the valley. He paused, he said, no, this can't be right, this can't be dark. And it becomes heavier. And suddenly things began to go separate ways. On somebody. And as they go separate ways, the curious young son stood and he looked when suddenly he saw the hair the same color of the horse. <sighs> Coming up. Come on, or somebody. Hello, he ran to call his father. When they came, they saw what was said to be dead. Useless. Come up. Now, what was interesting was that the horse did not rely on a ladder or for any human help to take him out of the hole that they placed him. The same things that they threw on him, he used it. Bam, bam, bam. Up, shake off. 
Come on, somebody help me here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. What's the moral of this story? They bury you. They throw all kind of stuff at you. Come on, somebody, but don't stay there. Use them. And come on, somebody, and get right back up. For we, oh, come on, somebody. Oh, God, what they thought was garbage. The hearts use it. A stepping stone to get back up. Somebody praise God. What was also interesting was that the horse developed some energy. Come on, somebody. And he shake himself off. And up he came. May I say this to everybody who have come, visitors and everyone. The Lord says to tell you, stay alive through it. Whatever it is, stay alive. Stay alive through it. It's rough, but stay alive through it. You're going through hell, but stay alive through it. You have been rejected, resented, but stay alive, stay alive through it. Some of them have dumped stuff on you. You are going through hell. Come on, you're having a harsh, rough experience. But I say, stay alive. Stay alive through it. Somebody, somebody, shake yourself and come up. Come on, somebody. You can't make some people use them mouth. Use them bad look. Lord God Almighty, oh, hold you down, hold you back. Shake yourself. Lord God, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Shake yourself and come up from your rubble. Come up from your setback. Come up from your dungeon. Come up. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shake yourself. Put your hand in your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, if you can't shake, I'm going to help you shake. For life is in you. Potential is in you. For, uh, uh, value is in you. Worth is in you. Uh, you are important. Come on, somebody. Somebody shake your neighbor. Don't be too nice. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, shake your neighbor. Say, neighbor, worth is in you. Value is in you. You are important. Uh, and you shall live. Somebody shout, stay alive. Say, stay alive. Church in closing. The promise. And the waiting period. Avoid the Ishmael. But as you avoid the Ishmael, get ready for the son, the sacrifice, and to surrender. Somebody praise God. Oh God. After years of waiting, don't you never say years of waiting? Say, neighbor, you don't know nothing much about me, you know. But may I just open up and tell you now, a long time may I wait. Jesus. Somebody. Feel the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ, somebody. Oh God, there's an anointing. Talk to your neighbor, say, neighbor, you don't know much about me. For if you know my story, you would have helped me to shout in my glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some people only see your glory. They don't know your story. They don't know how far you have come from. All about Shanna of Bahasatoria. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. Somebody show glory in the house. Show glory in the house. If you have known my story 
And you have known, your, and you have known, and you have known, or you are aware of your neighbor's story that you're sitting beside. You would show better appreciation and acceptance. Because some people not just look good, so you know. Some of we did mash up, you know. Somebody, I'm preaching to somebody in this house. I come here, I come back now, you know. Jesus Christ, I feel like somebody should. I come here, I come back now, you know. I turn things, I turn around now, you know. Jesus Christ, so you come to church, somebody. I come here, I come on. I look things, I look up for you now, you know. Some of us, I look things, I look up now, you know. Because over the years it has been dark, rough, challenging, hard to bear. It was hot, hot. Preacher man, oh God. Come on, somebody. Squeeze your neighbor hand. Squeeze it. Don't squeeze it too tight. Say, neighbor, have caused the hot burning desert struggling right through to choose. And the defeat, and defeat is one word I want you. Well, I have crossed the heart. To choose I'm wrapping up There is cool Clear water And defeat Is one word I want you somebody might as well you start coming might as well the altar is open you're waiting on your Isaac the waiting seem long but your Isaac shall surely come forth your promise The altar is open. You have been waiting.
your season and moments of barrenness shall surely break. It may not be literal barrenness as it relates to unable to carry a child or bring forth a child. But you have financial barrenness, emotional barrenness, different levels of barrenness in your life. Drought, famine. Mm. But as you have come to spoil in church today, God says to tell you a season of change is coming for you and your family. I prophesy. Can I prophesy? Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can I prophesy every area in your life that has been barren, blocked, obstructed, hindered, denied, delayed? I declare this day that a season of plenty is coming. A season of abundance. A season of overflow. Shoko Rababa. Ramaiko Situri Abakendoria Sata. Somebody shout in the souls. Behold, said God, Officer Cross says to tell you I will come to you at the appointed time ah. God says I'm going to come to you I'm going to come through for you at the appointed time somebody get ready your appointed time is near if your appointed time is not today then believe I tell you before you know it shall surely come to a fulfillment. You've been waiting. But your waiting won't be much longer. For God is going to show up. And he's going to grant you. My closing says that at the appointed time, Sarah gave birth to Isaac. Come on, somebody. The promised child. You shall give birth to your promise. Glory to God. You shall produce. Get ready to produce. And reproduce. Glory to God. I declare it. I speak it. Every area of dormancy and stagnantness that exists in your life. I declare that there be an open door. You begin to produce. Increase will come. When Isaac was born, to reach a certain age, God's call, God called Abraham. He said, take your only son, Isaac. Take him to the land of Moriah. And offer him a sacrifice. I will tell you what to do. Without hesitation or any question, saddled the donkeys or the ass, along with Isaac, the wood, the fire, and everything that is needed. Glory to God. Off he went for Mount Moriah. When he reached the foot of the hill, he left his servants. And he and Isaac went up to offer sacrifice. Build the altar, lay the wood. Then he called Isaac, bind him and put him on the altar. About to sacrifice. But as he raised 
his hand to slay the promise. A voice came. Abraham, laying at your hand upon the boy. But look, there's a ram caught in the thicket. Abraham went to remove the lamb placed it upon the altar that was offered for sacrifice. God says to Abraham, now call this place Jehovah Jireh, meaning God will provide. Can I tell somebody, God will provide for you. You don't have to get down to the level of anybody who is trying to abuse you, disgrace you, or use you. Wait for the promise. Wait for the provision. Wait for God is going to show up. Today there was a surrender. Abraham surrendered everything to God. Today you need to surrender to God. Because he can lead you, he can direct you. If you have not yet surrendered your life to Christ. Here's an opportunity to surrender your will and your way. And say, Lord, my times are in your hands. And I will wait on my change. Bow your heads. Father, we're most grateful for today. Sunday, April 7th, 2024. We're in the cathedral, we're in the sanctuary, we're in the place of worship. And oh, how we have felt your presence. Oh, how you have dwelt among us. Oh, how you are still among us. That even to this point, individuals can walk from their seats to this altar, saying, Lord, touch me again. Saying, Lord, speak to me again. As they have come and they are now bowing their heads, I pray that you'll minister to them. I pray, God, that a heart that is broken up, that is shattered, that is wounded, oh God Almighty, will receive encouragement today. Oh God, a mind that has been strayed, oh God, all over the place, not knowing what to do and what will come hereafter. I pray that there'll be peace of mind. I pray, Heavenly Father, that an open door will be provided. I pray, Heavenly Father, that where the opportunities are, oh God, you will uh, assign your people. You will position your people. I pray, Heavenly Father, that for every distress, every depression, every state of despondency, oh God, and distress, you will relieve your people. You will give joy again. You will give peace again. You will minister to your people, spirit of the living God. Let somebody on the altar experience a touch. Experience your deliverance. Lord God Almighty, where the assignments of hell have been orchestrated to bring them down, to destroy them. Oh God Almighty, I pray for Father, that your spirit like a dove will rest upon them and give them comprehensive protection and guidance. Strength for the weak. Upliftment for the downcast, healing for the sick, provision for the destitute, the hungry, oh God, and the low in spirit, spirit of the living God, pass your hand over this altar, rest upon somebody, minister to them, Lord, like you have never ministered before, spirit of the living God, cover right now, cover them all. Those who don't know you as Lord and Savior. I pray that today they will come to that place of acknowledging that there's no God like Jehovah. They will surrender their will as Abraham surrendered. Everything the promise. Oh God Almighty and you had to stop him and say no. Because of your faith and your obedience and your willingness to act. I'm going to provide another lamb. Provide another lamb, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Provision.
protection, security. Build an edge of defense around your people. That when evil plots and schemes are plotted against your people, they will not come to fruition. But cover your people, guide them and strengthen them and save to the utmost, reclaim a backslider. We give you praise, we give you glory. That for those who are going back to school and to work tomorrow, you'll pray for protection and guidance. We pray God for favor. We pray for accomplishment. We pray God for success and victory in whatever they do. And whatever we do throughout this afternoon and for the week to come, you'll protect us and provide for us and open doors and secure us. Bless us in our going out. Bless us in our coming in. We pray for peace, we pray for protection, and we pray for guidance through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, may I also ask, you're at this altar and you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ. Will you make a decision to serve him today? If you're willing to accept Jesus Christ, you can raise that hand. As an indication that you are willing to serve God. Is there one today that will say, yes, pastor. I've wandered far away from God. Now I'm coming home. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands. You can go back to your seats of the body. Thank you for coming. We have prayed for you. Let's go back to your seats, everybody. We're getting out of here right now. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Raise a praise. Raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah in the house. Whew. Raise a hallelujah, somebody. Bahaya. <laughs> La baba ba kunde sekiba mandi di biando do boko shide ya sario ketoria rimyo kebo shida sakrimai sotoria bakanda rebo kotoria ida ba mandi ba shoda ba kasatoria lebo shakrai kuda ba. Sacrimai Sundibai Kosodia. Hear he the word of the Lord to my people. Thus said God to tell you that there are many effectual doors opening. Are as opened to you, but the adversaries are many. Doors of opportunity, of favor, of blessings, of overflow, and the abundance. Are opening unto you or have been opened to you. But the adversary.
adversary are many. But thus said God also, as many as the adversaries are, they cannot stop you from entering for it is already open and when God open no man shut somebody shooting me fire in my skin fire in my shoes Fire in a me, fire, fire in a me, church. Ah. Woo! Somebody get that right now. Mm. Me done, you know, me done. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Hold your bag, hold your book. Take up your Bible, take up something. Glory to God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ. We are shut down the adversary's assignment today. Somebody who believe it right now. You don't have to take up everything but hold on to something. And in the name of Jesus, thus set Almighty God. Because your door has been opened. You're going to step two or three steps by faith. And say, devil, excuse me but I'm going in. Jesus Christ, somebody help in this house, young man. Walk into your promise. Walk into your own door. Walk into your opportunity. Walk into your position. Watch your God, watch your, watch your. Walk into what belongs to you. Walk upon what is yours. Adversary, I fight you out of it. Satan, I try to stop you from accessing it. But I come under the Holy Ghost, Akina, to tell Satan the blood of Jesus. Come out of the territory. Come out of the way. Move out of my promise way. Move out of my position. Move out. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Jesus Christ, what is this? What is this? What is this? Come up, 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 somebody. Why, 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 why? Somebody have a worship in here. Somebody have a worship. Somebody have a worship. You may be beside somebody that is feeling low. Wanting to step out, but they can't. And you can help that person. Lock that person with your right hand or left hand. I said, come sister, come. We're going in. We're stepping in. Walk in. Claim it. Access it. Possess it. Jesus Christ, I feel the Holy Ghost in a church and some people not even shouting. Somebody shout! Somebody shout hallelujah. Hi, 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 hi. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. Still hold the person say, step in, step in. Lord God, no matter them use them mouth and block you. Don't let them use them big self or otherwise. Don't let them use, Lord God, criticism and persecution and stop you from accessing. Come on, somebody, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, somebody praise God. Don't let them threaten you. Lord God, don't let them drive fear into you. Walk into your purpose. Walk into your promise. Walk into your possession. I thank all of you for coming out today. 
May the peace of the Lord be with you. Cool me, cool on me. Somebody please. Touch me, touch you. Dumps me, touch me, touch you. Woo! Glory to God, preacher man. Somebody praise God. Glory to God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. The last thing I ask you to say, I do. Last thing. I behave myself for the Holy Ghost. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Me get me Isaac. Jesus Christ. Somebody help me around here. You have received your Isaac. Jesus Christ, I have received my Isaac. Thank you, Jesus. Shout it, me no choir. Shout it, me no choir. Shout it, me no choir. Shout it, me no. Me no shout up here, choir. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Strength. 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 Don't know what to do, but my spirit pick you up. Come past the walk with her. Walk with her cross. Somebody believe God for deliverance. Believe God for deliverance. Come on, church of God. Come on, church of God. Come on, church of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody worship in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember the activities for the week. Oh, hallelujah. such a word you must have a stronger praise somebody give God a praise the man of God has declared it you have received your Isaac have you received your Isaac do you believe you have received your Isaac waiting in the long haul but finally you have received your Isaac somebody give God a praise an awesome time in the presence of the Lord today it was a well spent day in the presence of the Lord I know we are over in your time but we are just asking you for about four and a half more minutes as we have a few things to cover by way of information sister someone wants us to know that there will be no marriage ministry tomorrow as previously announced but it will be on the fifth Monday of April everybody got that marriage ministry will be on the fifth Monday 
of April. God bless you today. You have been nothing short of spectacular today. You worship God today. And if only we, when we come to church, everybody would worship the name of the Lord, then we'll have a wonderful time. Officer Cross wants to give us some announcement as well. Um, uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. Ladies practice Tuesday. Yes, ladies, you're practicing Tuesday. Solomon Group, you know, is the hat. We have um, the adjudicators have decided on the winners. And so we want to announce that before we leave. Okay? Yes, I can wear my hat for now, just for the announcement. Yes. <laughs> yes, so for most creative hat, we have Keisha Lee. Nelson, is Keisha Nee Nelson here? Could you step forward? Wow. Keisha Lee Nelson, most creative. In the same breath, we ask for the largest, Samantha McLeod. Come forward with your hat. We have your prizes here. Most colorful, Herman Lindsay. Where, where are the contestants? We do thank you for supporting our Hat and Tie Day. Yes. And we have selected our winners. The smallest, uh, Tanya, uh, Tanoya McLeod. And uh, we have a baby category. Where are the persons that I'm calling? Keisha Lee Nelson, most creative. Woo! Yes. The largest, Samantha McLeod. Where is Samantha? Most colorful, Herman Lindsay. So this is. We have in the baby category, um, Rhea Holness. Uh, get to it. Most colorful, we have most colorful, Hermine uh, Lindsay. Give her a round of applause. And, and the smallest, Tanoya McLeod. <laughs> that's cutie. In the baby category, wow, that's the largest uh, you can... Yes, you can attest to that one. That's huge. <laughs> uh, please get Rhea together. Where is her hat and her tie? They are thrown away. <laughs> and for the tie category, we have most creative Sister Jodian Denton for the Thai category. Yes, she had a, a brown hat thingy there and, a, and the Thai was a bold. She was looking quite smart this morning. Yes, pictures are there of her. Yes. And this is the Thai category most creative. Sister Jodian Denton. Uh, too bad I didn't get any. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. The, the... Yes. I have some announcements. Uh, please give all the contestants. We have some that we didn't mention. But those who took part, we thank you very much for participating. And those who did not drop their $200, you know you can do that. Just the same as you will be exiting uh, momentarily. Um, brothers and sisters, we have Popsicle Sale popsicle and drop sale uh, while you're leaving you can get your popsicle you can get your drops only a hundred and fifty dollars yes support the Solomon group okay also we just want to meet with you for five minutes those who were in the Solomon group five minutes five minutes after we close off here 
right over on this side. Remember, tickets are on sale for the cook, for the, the, the fish fry on Friday. So place your orders with Sir Maxwell and all the other leaders. You can also place your orders with me uh, and so forth. Tickets are available. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Anything else? Okay, so Bible studies on Wednesday, FTH tomorrow night. Uh, yes, re practice for the ladies on Tuesdays, fasting on Tuesday. And we do hope that you will make time for our prayer meeting in the mornings. Cost for tickets, we have 1,200 for, uh, let me just run down a little of this information for you. So, Solomon Rally Group Cookout. Yes, we have jerk chicken, 1,200. Fried chicken, 1,200. Stew pork, 1,200. Escovich fish, 1,500. Brown stew fish, 1,500. We have rose fish for 1,500. Mm. Yes, you can... Um, order and i'm sure that you will want to come back and as we said this morning you can order in the morning in the afternoon and for dinner god bless you <laughs> let us stand